Hmm. Prognosis is you're doomed. What the fuck? Yeah. It's our time to shine. Show that's the kind of state of mind you gotta combine with hard work and time. You gotta climb to the top. Don't let yourself drop till your heart stops. Let this beat rock. Sup? Yet again, I am under the weather, but I promised myself that in 2021, being sick was not going to stop me from getting stuff done. Somehow, I will find or make a way. So while I take a break from reading every book I can get my hands on to help cure what ails me, today, I want to share with you how to get that book written, according to me. Tips that have changed the game for me that may just help you as well. Use what works, discard what doesn't, and modify where you want to. These are in no particular order of importance, okay? Let's go. Number one, dedicate the time. This should be a no-brainer, but I always hear folk complain about not having time or how they can't find the time. What I believe to be the problem is people get it all caught up in their heads that they have to write for hours and every day in order to get the writing done. Well, that's not true, my lovelies. Take a breath. I promise you there is time to write no matter who you are, but you're never going to just find it. You have to claim it. Steal it if need be. I wrote one of my novels 15 minutes at a time while at work on breaks. Yup, sure did. Wrote another one only on Saturday mornings because it was all the time I had. If you pay attention to your daily existence, I know that you can make time to write. In fact, if you are watching this video, you had time to write. Just remember, it doesn't need to be how someone else has done it, but it does need to be dedicated. Once you have figured out just when you can write, do not let any other activity steal it away. Don't make your book a back burner project. Give it priority. Number two, find an alpha. No, not a wolf. Although, hey, do you, boo-boo? If you've never worked with an alpha before, once you do, you will wonder how in Hades had you managed without them. The way writers work with their alpha varies from writer to writer. Once I start a new project, I let my alpha know so she can be prepared for my madness. As much as anyone can prepare for my madness. As I complete a chapter, I send it off to her. Raw. No edits just yet. Just how it came to me. While she is going over it, I am off writing the scenes for the next chapter. I may get a few chapters in before I get my first notes back from her, but when I do, I go over them, fix what needs to be fixed, do a very mini self-edit, then write back the writing. The process continues that way until I have my entire rough draft complete. After that, we move into the next phase of our process, which I will go into details about in another video. You may choose to work all together differently. Some writers complete their zero draft and do a self edit before sending it off to their alpha. How you work with each other will totally be your decision. The point of it is have an alpha. Have someone you trust to not only read your stuff, but truthfully share their opinions, good, bad, or indifferent. You need this person like you need your keyboard. Now, I prefer an alpha who is also a writer, and my betas are strictly readers. That works for me. More about that to come as well. Number three, have a clear plan. Before I sit down to work on a new project, I do a lot of pre-writing as well as blueprinting my entire schedule out so that I can get it done. Not saying that you have to do that, but you will need to have a clear plan of some sort to assist you in getting your writing in. There are so many ways to do this, so many. Like I said, I have my outline sorted, character bios, time and dates that I plan to write, soft deadlines, etc. If you would like to see a video on my prep process, 
drop a comment below and let me know. Go at this creative endeavor, keeping in mind that it is still work. Fun work, rewarding work, but work. If you were going to bake a cake, you would need the recipe, ingredients, and the appliances, as well as the time in order to get it done. You would not just walk into your kitchen and stare at your oven waiting for it to tell you what to do. Well, I will tell you a little secret. Your keyboard hates when you do it too, so don't. Number four, motivation motivation. As creatives, we are always waiting to be magically motivated. Luckily, that does happen. We're weird that way. But my lovelies, listen to mama. There will be days when magic just isn't there. That does not give you an excuse to just throw your hands up and binge watch Bridgerton. Unless you are writing something steamy and you need a little regret in your life, I'll allow it. Other than that, sit your butt in a chair, pull out your outline, and write something. And for the discovery writers who choose not to outline for some reason, sit your butt in a chair and write something. No free pass for you either. Just trust me on this one, guys. Let your characters speak to you. Let your settings fill your senses. Write it even if it feels like garbage to you. It may very well be, but a page full of words is easy to fix or build on. A blank page is nothing. If you get in the habit of writing come rain or shine, you will discover the ritual of writing will become its own motivator. Ha ha. Number five, do not rewrite. You know what stopped me from completing my initial works? The urge to keep going back and rewrite stuff I'd already written trying to be perfect. Don't do that. Sure, make changes here and there if you need to. Make notes that remind you to fix that part in chapter three that screws up what you just wrote in chapter eight. But please do not halt the process by getting so dragged into the perfection hole that you never even get to write the end. Finish the manuscript. Then you will have the chance to work on that all important second draft and legitimately get to enter the world of rewriting. Number six. Create inspiration slash inspirations. Could you make me more than one? This one can be a bit of a trip to Wonderland for some people, myself included. I have let myself fall deep into playing around in the my novel's world trap. Trust me. Speaking of, I have recently come across this awesome new playground called My Cast, where you can literally cast the people that you could see playing the characters in your novel. Not only that, other folk can come stop by and make suggestions for who they think would work as well. Blame Jenna for introducing this bad boy to me, y'all. Not my fault. If you want to see my dream cast for Shattered, I put a link below. Feel free to suggest who you would like to see in the roles. Anyway, back on task. All that said, set yourself up with stuff that will keep you inspired and keep the words flowing. I've created soundtracks. Okay, they're playlists, but I call them soundtracks for each of my projects and I blast them while I write. I even go so far as to make them a certain length so I know when the first song makes its way back around then I wrote for the amount of time that I slated to do so. I make Pinterest boards and even draw sketches of my characters and the world that they live in, then place them all around me. It's a fun way to stay inspired. Give it a try. And finally, number seven, don't start something new. This is the writer crime of the century. And I doubt if anyone has done more time for it than me. That shiny new tale is just so hard to resist. But resist, I tell you. You have my permission as the daughter of Zeus to spend a few minutes with shiny new tail and write some notes and dump a bit of juicy tidbits. 
your outcome. But that's it. Put it away and finish what you are currently working on. Shiny new tail. I am trying so hard not to laugh every time I say tail. <laughs> will still be there ready for you to take it out and have at it when it is its turn. If it's just killing you to write it, then let that be the motivation you need to finish your current work in progress. Those are my seven. I'll share more stuff with you as I go. Hopefully, I will be well enough to share more stuff with you. Be sure to click the like and subscribe if you aren't already. And until next time, remember, you hold the power as long as you are driven. I'm one of a kind, there ain't no one like me. So I define it's some real damn thing. Don't be wasting any time, I got somewhere to be. Always on the grind, yeah, you know me. All the crown will be mine, you can call me king. A matter of time for you all love me. Finally at my prime, right where I wanna be. I'm one of a kind, there ain't no one like me. Put my money where my mouth is, I'ma get it now, kid. Heard around town,